This is Picasso, the one who faced dog. Baby Newt was bitten by his mother and I fell in love with this little puppy and his story and he came to join our family. Picasso and Newt hit it off from the beginning and they are still the best of friends. Picasso is a very intelligent dog. His character is complex and deep and multifaceted. Picasso, come on, it's time to go for a walk. He's kind of a miracle dog. I'm really glad that I was able to keep him even though it was under kind of the saddest circumstances. I asked a woman at a shelter in California if she had any dogs with special needs or who needed immediate care and this is what I saw. <laughs> He'd been brought in off the streets. He'd been running as a stray with his brother. So I said, well, we can't leave his brother behind, so we'll take his brother too. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I think you're a bonded pair. <laughs> I was concerned about Picasso and his snout, so I got him in to see our vet right away. He told me that he was born with wry mouth, and wry mouth is something where the upper snout just grows crooked while they're developing in the womb, but it doesn't cause them any pain because the jaw is actually not affected. It's really just the upper snout. We were out for a walk one morning, and uh, Pablo just ran off into the bushes to sniff something and didn't come back. So Picasso and I went to look for him and found him and he, he just looked like he laid down and, and passed away. I had our veterinarian do a necropsy on Pablo and the only thing he could come up with was a possible like a massive stroke, like brain aneurysm. It wasn't really hard to decide, okay, I'm just going to keep Picasso. So about a year after we lost Pablo, we rescued a baby pig. We named her Pax, and for the next two years, Pax and Picasso spent a lot of time together. Yay, good job, good job. Now that she's a grown up pig, she, she's more interested in pig things, but they had so much fun together. I follow an account of a rescue organization that's based in New York City. They began posting pictures and videos of a little tiny puppy that they had just rescued. You guys ready to eat? He had been horribly injured as a tiny puppy. He was missing completely his upper snout and nose. And so I guess I took a special interest in this little puppy. The good thing is Newt is very gentle and very self-aware. Picasso and Newt hit it off from the beginning and they are still the best of friends. So it's been really fun to share their friendship from the time Newt was really little. And then over the months, he's just grown taller and taller and taller. And so now he towers over Picasso. They're just making the most of what they have. and. I think that that spirit and that attitude is what people really relate to as they see these animals just living their best lives. Being accepted for being different and being accepted for being perfectly imperfect. When I created Lovable, I really saw it as kind of a sanctuary or a refuge in the woods. I wanted the dogs to live in environments that were much more home-like. I'm fairly certain that we have rescued and adopted out over 2,000 dogs. Look at range! <laughs> it's horrible to think what might have happened to them if they hadn't somehow found people willing to help. <laughs> if it weren't for people being willing to open their hearts and homes to these animals, they wouldn't have a chance. It's definitely worth it. It's the most rewarding thing you could ever do.